Hello, this is Chandra Davis. I'm here with you to talk about my five day detox your creative self challenge. And we are on day one. And today we're going to talk about self awareness. The focus for today self awareness is pretty much about foundation and listening to your inner self, your intuition, that inner artist, and allowing that voice to guide you. For today's exercise, I thought that we can work with a very grounding, self-serving, self-centered exercise called a mandala. It's very simple and very easy to make. I have a few art materials on the table, as you can see. I have um, chalk pastels here, and I have oil pastels here. I'm gonna decide between the two, whichever ones I wanna work on. And at any time you need to pause this video and grab some art materials, feel free. I think there'll be um, enough opportunities for you to watch this video and to come back later and decide on what materials you want to use to make your mandala. But to make it really easy, I just got this paper bowl to use as a guide for the circle. And I'm just going to flip it over and trace over. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's part of the, part of the detoxing creative process is um, letting go of perfection and just kind of letting things be what they are. Um, the idea is just to get a general shape to get the circle shape. I know some people, this would be very bothering for them to see an imperfect circle like this, but I'm just going to let it go and um, continue with this process the way, the way it is. Um, um, to begin, you need to, um, to focus in on your circle and decide on what, what your intent will be. And today we're going to talk about self-awareness. So my intent today is to increase my awareness of my inner voice, of my intuition, and to allow that to guide me. <sighs> so now I'm just going to let that inner voice guide me in choosing which colors, which materials to use. And I'm just going to um, pick at random and pick at will. I'm letting my inner voice guide me. Also in the, um, the shapes that I use, the lines, the colors, I'm allowing that inner voice to really um, speak to me and guide me as far as what colors to use, how I use it, um, what shapes I see. And, and part of the creative process that um, self-awareness really lends to is being able to, to trust that you know what direction you need to go into. Trust that you have the abilities within yourself to be the creative being that you want to be, to express yourself in ways in which you see fit. Um, and art really allows for that in, in many, many ways. As I mentioned earlier, I'm using both um, oil pastels and chalk pastels. Please feel free to use whatever materials you feel comfortable with. I chose these because I'm very comfortable with the materials and I know that um, they never will steer me wrong and guide me in really great directions with, with what I choose to do with my, with my mandala. So I'm actually gonna um, do something a little radical and kind of mix and match materials. I'm not only using um, oils, but also I'm gonna use the um, chalk, chalk pastels too, which which might be a little radical, which might be a little unorthodox, but that's okay because I'm just allowing my, my intuition, my, my inner voice um, to guide me right now. So as you can see with the mandala, I'm pretty much staying within the circle. It's totally up to you how you decide if you want to stay within the circle or if you decide to actually um, go outside of the circle. Like I said earlier, it's about your inner voice and listening to that inner voice and letting it guide you aesthetically and artistically and in the direction you see fit um, aesthetically. So I'm just gonna go a little bit outside my circle, not too much. And part of the goal for this, um, this detox your creative self challenge is really beginning to um, bring within to the new year a, a better sense of how we want our creative selves 
to be guided and in the direction in which we want to take that um, side of ourselves. For many people, they feel stuck. They feel um, either blocked or maybe even abandoned by their creative self. And for many people, that might have been the case for many years. However, just by um, introducing a new process into your creative life, by allowing um, others to support you in your creative journey and endeavor, you can begin to see a change in that and a real um, awakening, even in these um, even in these um, difficult times of stress and, and maybe even anxiety or worries. Um, for myself, um, being an art therapist, I always tell my clients that um, art is like the slip of the tongue. Things do not happen by mere chance. Um, when you allow your creative self to be um, stirred and awakened, you will see things differently, you'll experience things differently, and hopefully the things you experience and see will, um, will be renewing and refreshing and, and offer you insight into the person you are or the person you may, may become. So as I just add a little bit more color and shapes, as you can see, I'm just kind of going around my page. I'm not really following any specific patterns or shapes. Um, please feel free if you want to follow a specific pattern or shape or you want to start on the outside and work your way in or start on the inside and work your way out, that is totally fine. There really isn't too much of a right or wrong way in doing this. Um, I really am just allowing the colors to speak to me and the shapes to um, transform as I put the materials to the paper. See, I have just one more spot that I want to fill in with a bit of orange. Okay. All right, not not one of my best pieces, but I'm very um, I'm very pleased with how it's turning out. I can definitely um, see that I used a lot of really interesting bright colors that um, contrast and balance each other out nicely and that I'm just kind of playing with this process and giving myself time to be creative and to express myself and to um, just enjoy this, this break from my everyday, everyday life. Um, I'm just kind of going through and just kind of filling in some of the spots or adding just a few touches here and there of color. Like I said earlier, this is a process that's totally up to you with how you want to execute. Um, there really isn't a right or wrong way in doing your mandala. Um, it really is about filling the space with whatever your inner voice, your intuition, your, that inner artist would like to choose to fill it with. All right. Okay, well, I think I felt filled up most of the page. Let me hold my piece up so other everyone can see a closer look at it. Um, quite proud of it. It's a little messy, but you know what? That's all a part of the creative process. It's really about just kind of letting yourself go, letting your, um, letting your inhibitions relax for a moment and just allowing the art materials and colors to speak for you and to speak through you. And, and I'm quite pleased. I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Um, I know I can't stop now. I can't stop adding stuff to it, but now I'm going to, I'm going to officially stop. I'm officially, I'm officially going to stop. I swear. I swear I'm going to stop any second now, any moment. There. Okay. Okay. I'm stopping now. Okay. There. Okay. I am done. This is a finished piece. Uh, thank you so much for enjoying, enjoining me with this um, day one of the Detox Your Creative Self Challenge. I will be back again tomorrow with another exciting, fun exercise. So please stay tuned. I'm going to post pictures of, um, of my mandala. Please, if you want to post your pictures in the comment page, please, please do so. Um, also, join my group, Self Care as an Act of Resistance. Our website will soon be up. It will be selfcareasactofresistance.com. And thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.